Hi, this is Rajesh MG from ProgrammersGuide.net. In this guide, we are going to implement cron jobs or scheduled tasks in ASP.NET MVC application. What is cron jobs? The cron is a time-based job scheduler in Unix-like computer operating systems. People who set up and maintain software environments use crons to schedule jobs to run at fixed times, dates or in a periodic intervals. Scenarios for scheduled jobs in an ASP.NET MVC application. Scheduled tasks like sending reminder emails to users from the website. This task can be achieved using a Windows service. However, if the website is hosted in a shared environment, we will not have a luxury to run a Windows service for our website. We can schedule a task in ASP.NET MVC application in when a view hits, when the application starts, when the application stops, when the session starts, or when the session ends or timeouts, or when a cache item expires. The view or a page gets a hit at random. If nobody visits your website for hours, pending jobs will not be triggered until somebody visits your website. Besides, the execution of your request is very short and needs to finish as soon as possible. If you plan to execute scheduled jobs on page execution, then the page will take longer to execute, which will result in a poor user experience. So this is not an ideal place to set up and run scheduled jobs. When an application starts, we get a callback in the event application underscore start in global.asx file. This is a good place to start a background thread which runs forever and executes scheduled jobs. However, the thread can be killed anytime the web server decides to take a nap due to zero load. When an application stops, we get a callback at application underscore end event. But we can't do anything here because the whole application is going to die soon. Session underscore start in global.acx is triggered when a user visits a page that requires a new session to be initiated. However, user visits is not under our control. We need something that fires consistently and periodically. A catch item expires on a given time or duration. In ASP.NET, you can add entries in the cache and set an absolute expiry date time or you can set a sliding duration which will remove the item from the cache. Let's have a quick demo on implementing cron jobs in ASP.NET MVC application using caching mechanism. When an HTTP request begins, it checks for job cache. If there is no job cache exists, then it adds new job catch. If a job catch expires, then it triggers the scheduled jobs as well as it also triggers a new HTTP request. I have created a basic ASP.NET MVC application for this demo. Let's add the job catch key to the application underscore begin request event of global dot CS file. Let's name this catch key as job key. We are not going to have any dependencies for this catch, so I'm just going to pass null.
let's have this absolute expiration as date times max value and let's set the sliding expiration for two minutes and I'm going to leave cash item priority as default and I'm going to name the call callback method as job catch remove let's create the job catch remove method to handle this callback mechanism in order to save time I'm just going to paste the job catch removed method here this scheduled job is the method where we are going to call to call any method or action that needs to be executed in an interval okay I'm just uh, making this as static. It's fine, everything is fine. You may be wonder why I'm calling this web client uh, here. Uh, I'm just trying to mimic the HTTP request here. This job catch action was as a dummy URL for an action where I have an action here in in home controller it's a dummy action where I'm just returning null this will mimic a uh, HTTP request which in turn will trigger the begin request method and it will add the expired catch key again so I'm just trying to make sure this catch key is not available in the current HTTP context um, I'll move this statement inside the if, if let's run this application and see how this works let's have a breakpoint I'll also put a breakpoint in home controller. Add job keys, job catch uh, action. Let's run this now. Let's run this application and see it in action. Yeah. Um, now it, it just it just checks for the uh, job key in the current HTTP context as it is it doesn't exist it's trying to add a new job key now the application has started running now as the job catch key got removed in two minutes this job catch removed method is triggered by the callback mechanism and here using the web client we are going to mimic by calling a dummy action that is job catch action if you can note what is job catch action is it's a 
add job catch method in home controller home controller that returns null let's see now in action this in turn creates an HTTP request and this HTTP request checks for job key in the current HTTP context and as it doesn't exist because the previously created job key catch is expired already expired so it's adding a new job key for the next uh, scheduled job execution and then the actual action is getting executed here and this is where uh, our actual uh, mission is getting completed where it calls the scheduled job method this is the place where we call any method or action that needs to be executed in a periodic interval here uh, I have set uh, some method to be executed for every two minutes and once this is completed uh, it waits for the next uh, expiration of the job key catch in this way we can create a scheduled job in an ASP.NET MVC application using a catch key mechanism. For more tutorials and how-to videos visit www.programmersguide.net and like our Facebook fan page Programmer Guide follow us on Twitter at Programmer Guide. Thanks for watching.